What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the regulation D ladder, but this time using Amy Alskarada team. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started here, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Matt. Matt, thank you so much for sending this team to me over on Twitter. Super excited to be using it considering I have never used Miascarada in regulation days. So it's going to be a fun little time for Miascarada. Hopefully get the rock out with it, do some big time damage as we know already how much damage it can do. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Tornado's top tier support Pokemon in the game with Prankster and Cobra Cloak. It's got Bleak Wind Storm, Rain Dance for Weather Control, and then we got Taunt and Tailwind. And our second slot is the one and only Me Alskarada, the starter for Gen 9. It has Overgrow alongside with the Focus Sash, so it can't be one tap. Then we're rocking Flower Trick, it's signature move, Protect, Knock Off, and Sucker Punch. In our third slot, we got Don Dozo, and Don Dozo. Would not be here without its boy Tatsugiri, so we got both of them rocking out in the third and fourth slot. Now, those of us unaware with the leftovers as item and then moveset is pretty straightforward with order up, wave crash, EQ, and protect. Right next to him, like we already mentioned, our fourth Pokemon is Don Doza's best friend, Tatsugiri. Little Tatsu over here with Commander and a Choice Scarf as its item. It's rocking Muddy Water, Icy Wind, Draco Meteor, and Sleep Talk for its moves. In our fifth slot, we got the one and only Fluttermane, rocking the booster energy and protosynthesis as its ability. It's got Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, and Protect. In our final slot, we got Glamora, and Glamora is a nice Pokemon, especially for just poisoning Pokemon and just getting work done. It has Toxic Debris and the Assault Vest as item, Mortal Spin to set up the poisons, then we're rocking Power Gem, Sludge Bomb, and Earth Power. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Miascarada Regulation D team. First match on its way, and we're going up against a pretty standard meta squad right here. We're going up against Tornadus, Fluttermane, Heatran, Urshifu, and then Amoongus for support, and Cresselia, who is also a great support Pokemon. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I definitely want to bring in Miascarada. I really like this Pokemon, especially up against a few of these guys. So I am going to lead it. Do I lead it? Maybe? Hmm. I don't know if I want to lead it. I definitely want to bring it in here. Maybe as a back end Pokemon would be good, especially with Sucker Punch. But from here, I could go in with ch -ch 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 -ch, maybe Poison Pokemon. I could go in with Speed with Tornadus. And I could also go in with Don Dozo. Because I feel like I want to go into Don Dozo Tattoo Gear here. But do I want to lead him? Maybe not. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to go Don Dozo, Tornadus, Me, Alskarada, and in the back end. We're going to go in with Tattoo Gear. I like it. Actually, let's lead Me, Alskarada, and bring Fluttermane. I like that a little bit better. We're going to lead Me, Alskarada. We can always hard swap it. If I want to drop a Sucker Punch this turn, we could. I can drop a Flower Trick. Me, Alskarada is pretty fast as well, so really do like this Pokemon. So we'll see who they want to end up leading here. But I really do like having Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, especially for uh, this matchup. It looks perfect. But the opponent's uh, trainer card had Sprigatito. So that, that's just a sign that, we're, that we made the right call using Miyaskarada today. I think I haven't used any of the starters in regulation. Which is kind of weird to think about, right? Definitely is weird. Because they were all, all pretty strong, especially when the game first came out. But now in regulation D, the meta has just taken over. But, um, I could pop an EQ. EQ could be pretty good. I could wave crash. Um, I could definitely see what's called protecting here. I might just order up. I'm just going to order up over on this slot. And I think I'm just going to hard swap into Tatsuki right here. It shall be my play. It shall be my play. Maybe I should just double down into the uh, Tornadus, to be honest with you guys. Could have been my best play. But we'll see what they want to do. We're hoping this thing's not Rocket Terror Blast. We're hoping. Because we already know Heatran's Terra type is probably grass, right? It's just the most prominent, it's the most used uh, Terra type for Heatran. I'm hoping it's not Rocket Terra Blast. I know a lot of them rock that Terra type, but not a lot of them rock Terra Blast. In the movie. So we'll see how this one plays. We're gonna hard swap into the Tatsu, hop in the mouth, and we're gonna get plus two on all of our stats. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. So I did decide to go for an order up. I want that lovely little stat boost. And we will get after Tornadus. But I'm kind of hoping the Heatran protects. 
Shouldn't withdraw this Pokemon. Okay, no way you read that and go into Fluttermane, right? Right, correct? Now you go into Moongus instead. So Moongus comes out here, he does end up protecting. That's totally fine. And I'm going for a nice little order up over on this side. We come down, we do a little bit of damage, nothing crazy, and we are going to get that attack boost, which I love. The attack boost comes in here, and I don't think he wants to waste his Terra. This makes me want to go into an EQ. I do have Grass Terra, and I think I might Grass Terra. And the reason I want to do that is because... Oh, but then we're weak to Grass moves. Ooh. Or Fire moves. But I don't want to get put to sleep, right? Hmm. I want to Grass Terra, though. I really do. I'm going to Grass Terra and go into Heatran with Wave Crash. Unlock the KO it, because if we Grass Terra, we'll be immune to- Are oh, you gonna end up withdrawing? Withdrawing a Moose. I was gonna say, that's kind of tough. Because I don't want Heatran to Rasslize. The only reason I Terrasslize was so we don't get Rage Pattern, and uh... And we can't be Spored. But I'm gonna Terrasslize here, we're hoping Heatran's not Terrasslize, because if I can rip into this and just get rid of it, that'd be so big for us. That, that will get rid of one of their main attackers. Which is just big time for us. So we'll see. No terror from Heatran. You are Terrasalize. Come on, man. God dang it. I seriously didn't think they were going to Terrasalize with, uh, with a Moongus right next to it. So Grass Terror comes out here. What a perfect Terra. Um, we'll go after Fluttermane next turn. We're hoping Heatran's not going for Heat Wave, right? That'd be a little absurd if it did. We go for a nice lovely wave crash here, and we're still doing a huge chunk of damage, which we love. That's a big chunk of damage. And you're gonna go for a Terra Blast. Okay, so that works out in our favor. So that works out fine. So we'll take like four and a half damage in Don Dozo. We'll keep getting after it. We actually might get all the HP that we just lost back. <laughs> Almost. Almost with the leftovers. But from here, I don't think EQ is gonna KO, which kinda sucks. But I really wanna get rid of Fluttermane. So I'm going to actually target down the Fluttermane here. I don't think Fluttermane protects. I just want to get off a wave crash into that. Not too worried about the Heatran as much anymore. As long as I can get rid of the Fluttermane. Fluttermane could protect. Heatran might protect too. Which I wouldn't mind. But I was surprised to see how much our wave crash actually still did. Did over half. Like Dantoza just hit so hard. He is plus three on attack though. He is indeed plus three. So we'll see what they want to do from here. We still have Miyashkarada in the back end, who I love. I'm not too worried about the Moongus and Tornadus, and he ends up just withdrawing Heatran. A fine turn for me. And who are you going to go into? A Moongus here? Back into a Moongus, correct? It is. And you're going to protect. Okay, so a little bit of protect action. You still can't Rage Powder me. That's the problem. You can't Rage Powder me. You can't Spore me with this Terror type. So I'm just going to constantly Wave Crash this uh, right slot, right? Seems to work pretty good here. Seems like it's going to work pretty good. Because if he wants to swap into Tor Tornadus, that thing's probably dead. If he wants to swap into Heatran, that thing's probably dead. So I'm just going to keep targeting down this right slot. That's fine. That's fine by me. He did go back up to full HP with Amoongus, but again, I'm not too worried about Amoongus if I can get rid of the attackers. But he ends up hard swapping. And so hard swap comes out here. Back into Heatran. Heatran dies in this. So I'm just going to be able to get rid of Heatran here. The new Crash is going to take you out. See you later. And we're hoping Amoongus was going for like Pollen Puff or something into Heatran. But he's definitely Pollen Puffing in there, right? Is that the play? Is that the play, Amoongi? Clear Smog. Oh, you got Clear Smog. Hurts. That, that, those ones hurt. Those ones hurt. But that's a great play from my opponent. I forget that Amoongus runs Clear Smog. Every here and there you'll see it. Not as much in Regulation D. Because Don Dozo and Tatsugiri is not as big as it was back in like series 2 and 1. But every now and then you'll get clear smog. That was just such a big clear smog. That was a big one. It was a big one. So from here, I'm just going to... I'm just going to order up into this thing. Try to get attack boost and kind of go from there. Leak Wind Storm is going to miss my Tatsu. I thought I was missing my Don Dozo. And we actually survived this. So we survived this. We are going to go for an order up. We're going to do that much damage and we'll see what a moon is gonna do okay we clear smog yeah we died to clear smog okay so i think we got off a decent amount of value out of dondozo we got rid of heatran which is big they brought two support pokemon which i'm fine with 
as long as I can get rid of Fluttermane, we should be fine. And we do have Meowth Gravata with Focus Sash in the back end. And we have a Fluttermane of our own with Booster Energy. And what, uh, what stat do you get? You do get Special Attack. I want to go into you here? Kind of, right? Oh, show. I can Icy Wind here, too. Yeah, we're going to go Fluttermane. Again, we are saving our Meowth Gravata. I think Meowth Gravata with Sucker Punch could definitely come up clutch. I'm going to boost our energy, boost our special attack. They don't have Terra. We don't have Terra. And from here, we are just going to go Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, we're going to go Dazzling Gleam. And I'm just going to Icy Wind. Nice, lovely little Icy Wind. So he might be spawning me here. That's all right, I guess. I am Twist Scarf with the, with the tattoo. I just have to start getting some work done. So they got Flutterbane in the back. Flutterbane's going to be their, their, their Pokemon that's going to get some work done. So I think he's looking to just kind of support right now, put my Pokemon to sleep, and then eventually get Flutterbane out here to try to pick up some KOs and uh, win the match. But as long as I can keep this support kind of under control, I think we can win this one. Because like I said, Miyazaki Rada with the Focus Sash is guaranteed a nice little shot. I love it. But they're going to end up going in with a Tailwind. Tailwind is a little scary. We're Icy Wind. We're a decent chunk of damage. There we go. That's a great chunk of damage onto uh, on the Tornadus. And now Gleam's going to fly. We're just going to KO Tornadus and do a little bit of damage onto Amoongus. But I already know what they're doing. They're putting my Fluttermane to sleep, which is so annoying. And we got we to gotta deal with that. So there's the sleep cheese. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. This is kind of tough. This, gonna be, this one's going to be close. I think it kind of depends on whether my Fluttermane wants to wake up or not. I'm choosing Icy Wind now. And I don't mind choosing the Icy Wind. It's going to do the most damage onto Amoongus. So Gleam's going to fly here. Tatsu Gary dies out. Hmm, gets a crit on my Tatsu. Gets a crit on the Tatsu. And we'll go from there. Fluttermane is still slumped. What are you going for, Amoongus? You clear smogging me? Are you smogging me up? You are. Oh, we're gonna clear stag or clear smog me. So now I have to go into Miascarada. And oh man. Do we think they're potentially gonna rage powder? I mean I won't be affected by rage powder, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go Shadow Ball and I'm just gonna go Flower Trick. I'm looking to do as much damage as I can onto you. So Gleam comes out here. I am gonna sash up here. And again, I need my Fluttermane to wake up. I need you to wake up your Fluttermane. You wake up here, we win this game. You wake up here, we win this game all day. I just need you to wake up here. We get we get the crit, which is guaranteed, but we get the KO, which is huge. Can you wake up? Fluttermane, Fluttermane, and who is the movies going after? That's the real question. Clear smog to Fluttermane. Who eats? Okay. Yo, focus Ash me actually coming in clutch. That flower trick did so much damage. But from here, I think we have a chance. I think we've only been asleep two turns. And I'm just going to go for a knockoff. Because that's going to do... Actually, would it do more damage than Sucker Punch? No, Sucker Punch actually does more. So I'm just going to Sucker Punch. As much damage as I can. Sucker Punch comes in hot here. And I died to Rocky Helm. But yo, can you wake up Fluttermane and just pick up the KO for me? Can you do me a solid here and don't choke this battle? You wake up. Can you pick up the KO? Can you win this one? Shadow Ball doing some big time damage. Should do enough, right? Let's go. Let's go. I was going to be upset if we lost that battle, but our opponent played it really, really well, especially in the end. Put my Fluttermane to sleep, getting some work done with his. We start off 1-0. Second match is on its way, and we have a hot start from Miascarada in match number one. Big time KO coming out from the Flower Trick and Sucker Punch do a little bit of damage, but I love that I kept it in the back end. It's so strong. But uh, we're hopping into the second match, and they got Murkrow. Murkrow is kind of more of an off meta support pokemon nowadays because tornadus just does everything that he can do better but murkrow can still set up tailwind with the prankster they also got shen pao with the dragon knight then they got iron hands and annihilate and mouse hold. so two support pokemon and the rest are big time physical attackers this is about the time where i wish i did have uh this is where i wish i had uh intimidate but i'm gonna go tornadus here i like tornadus especially for the tailwind and on top of that, we are going to go Fluttermane for the lead. I like that. And then we'll go Miascarada. And I think just having like Lamora in the back end 
could be pretty good for us. Glamora can come in late game. It's got the Soul Fest. I know there's no special attackers, but still, I like its typing and uh, going up against a few of these Pokemon with the rock moves. So, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Because Power Gem could be super effective onto a few of these guys, especially Shen Pao and Dragonite. So, going in with Glamora, I think it's a good call, especially as a back end Pokemon. But they're going to send out Shen Pao and Murkrow, and I really like my lead of Fluttermane here. Flutter, Flutter, man. And I'm thinking I'm just going to go to Rastalize this Pokemon and go into Tailwind as a right? The Fairy Terror stops us from taking big time damage from uh, Sucker Punch. We can really just start spamming this, right? And actually, I outspeed you, Murkrow. I can't taunt him. I was going to say, I might just taunt him. But I'm just going to go with that and to Rastalize as a lead. It's my play all day. It's my play all day. Flutter, man, right off the rip, looking to get off some big time damage. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So out comes big time terror. Flutter means best terror type. It's fair. Making this thing do crazy damage. You just can't go wrong with it. But we got the fairy type cooking here. Sauce it up. Sauce it up, Flutter Main. Tailwind gets cooking. Double in our speed. And Mercury's probably sending up a tailwind as well. And you're going to quash me instead. A little bit of quash action. Was not expecting that. And you're going to go for an icy crash. Can you eat this, please? Thank you for eating it. Do not flinch. Thank you. That would have been very upsetting. But now Gleam flies. And Gleam's going to chunk up. It says, see you later, Murkrow. And it puts Shin Pao on 1 HP. We love it. We love it. But yo, that Quash, that had me a little worried. That had me a little scared. Not going to lie to you. Once he Quash goes, oh no. Shin Pao's going to rip into me. Drops an ice and crash into me. So Iron Hands is now going to come out here. I am Covert Cloak, so... My play here is just going to be protect Fluttermane and try to get rid of the Shen Pao. Right, I think that's our best bet because he can just sucker punch and KO my Fluttermane whenever he wants. So, I'd rather just protect the Fluttermane, not have it be faked out, not let it be sucker punched, and just try to get at least one more turn out of it because it's doing so much damage. Especially with the Pokemon out on the field. There's the sucker punch coming out here. Are you faking out? No, you're not. Can Bleak Windstorm land? It does. That's a big time land. That's a big time land because it takes out the Shen Pao. Which I love. So he's probably just going for a nice little wild charge, looking to KO my, uh, looking to KO the, uh, Funatus, and it's exactly what they do. That's fine. I think we got a lot of value. We got rid of Shen Pao. We got rid of their support without letting them set up Tailwind or anything. I think it's a big time turn for us. So from here, I do believe, I do believe, like, Dragonite or something's gonna come out here. So I am just gonna go into Glamora, and I'm just gonna set up Poison, right? I'm gonna set up poison, start chunking up some damage, and kind of going after it that way. And yeah, that's exactly who it is. It is gonna be Dragonite. The Dragonite comes out here. We are gonna pop a nice little mortal spin. And from here, I guess we'll gleam. I guess we will gleam. I am scared a little bit. I'm gonna set up the poisons. I need to start chunking up some damage. Maybe eventually protecting, but oh, this is actually not looking too hot for us. Like, typing wise. They can e-speed into my Fluttermane, get rid of that, and on top of that, Drain Punch after my Glamora. That's actually looking scary. Maybe I should've just Power Gemmed the Dragonite slot, but no, it's gonna Terrastalize. The little Terror type comes out here, he goes straight normal. You're KO my Fluttermane, speed all day. God dang, Dragonite. Three speeds coming out here. And yeah, you can my floods. Not my floods. Leave my floods alone. But yeah, typing wise, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't think we're looking too hot here. The moral spin's gonna come and have some fun. Do about five damage each, but on top of that, give me the poisons. The poisons are out here. So I hope Glamora can eat up shots here. I don't know if it can. Drain Punch is scaring me. Okay, cool. Ate up pretty well. He's gonna get some HP back. Um. Hmm. What's the play from here? They could protect me, Oscar out if I want to. I might end up doing Poison's chunking. Poison's slowly, slowly chunking. You got me, Oscar out of here with the sash. Um. I think we just protect him with Earth Power. Hmm. 
that's my play, but like I said, this one's gonna be close. The typing, I don't like the typing. I got dark type Pokemon out here. I think Drain Punch might come in here. They might even double down to me, Ashkarado, which I'm really hoping for. If we can get off a of big time protect. There's E Speed into you. That's big. We'll take one. Can we can we get two? Can we get Drain Punch? Well, Earth Power is gonna do a nice chunk of damage here, which we love. And it brings this thing down low. So he ends up going for a heavy slam. And that's gonna KO me. So poison's chunking up. Um mm. What do I do? What do I do? I think that's all all game for me, unless another poison will KO, but I don't think another poison will KO. My tailwind's going. Um Two E speeds probably KO me, right? I gotta go for Flower Trick into Dragonite. Actually, let's just KO you. Let's KO Iron Hands here. Let's make sure Iron Hands goes down, because I don't think a poison's taking that much health. Um, yeah, I have to take out Iron Hands, because if I go after Dragonite here, the thing is, he E speeds into my Miascarada, and then Iron Hands just KOs me. So I, I gotta go after Iron Hands here. I, I have to finish off Iron Hands here. But there's the E speed. We know we can eat that up because we do have Focus Ash there. That's just doing an insane amount of damage. Would have KO'd me without the Focus Ash. So that happens. Flower Trick comes through here, and E speed just has such high priority. We can't even Sucker Punch before it. Talking to Joe, E Speed Dragon, I coming out here. Cause what I want to do is just protect again here, have Poison Chunk up. But oh my lord, do I go for like triple protect to maybe try to win this? <laughs> That's like my only way, right? Cause E Speed would come out before the Sucker Punch. I say we go. I mean, no, we need like four protects in order for it to happen. Um. I guess we'll go for Sucker Punch. But yeah, East Speed comes out before it. That's game all day. We need to land like four protects in a row. I probably should have went for it just to say screw it, but hey. Match number two goes to our opponent. Dragonite Clutching it up in the back end. Third and final match is here. Let's try to grab ourselves a winning record in today's video. That last match came down to the wire. Maybe I should have attacked with Lamora instead of setting up poisons, but hey, it is what it is. We're going up against a Weirdier and Galarian Articuno team with Dragonite, who we just lost to in the last uh, battle. And then they also got Shen Pao, Iron Hands, and Hisuian Arcanine. So a lot of physical attackers. Just like today, I wish I had an Intimidate Pokemon. I really do. But who should I go into? How should I play it? I feel as Don Dozo Tatsugiri is going to be lovely so i might just go same team as match number one maybe go don dozo alongside fluttermane or i could go ch -ch -ch -ch. i could go in with you and you and just have these guys in the back end which i really like because if they're going to intimidate me i can always roll out in the flower trick kind of go from there but iron hands might be a lead iron hands looking a little scary but i'm cool with that i'm cool with that because i feel as they're going to lead his suing arcanine just to try to intimidate me and uh, drop my physical attack. So if that's the case, I have a special attacker on one side with Fluttermane, and on the other side, I have me Ascarada, who's a physical attacker, but with the critical hits guaranteed on Flower Trick, the Intimidate really does nothing. So I like this Pokemon. I really like Ascarada. They're gonna end up leading Weirdier Articuno. Galarian Articuno. Galarian. Love that thing shiny. Looks so cool. So cool. Looks better than original Articuno, right? Looks so cool. Look at the colors, man. Just like the white is what makes it. The, the shade of white at the end of the feathers. Like, oh my lord, it's beautiful. But from here, both psychic types. Knockoff's gonna be your best friend. I'm gonna go after a weird deer. I'm gonna go after a weird deer. And you know what? I'm gonna go after the shadow ball this side. We got we got a super effective shot on each side. Pretty solid lead for us. And Articuno's just gonna protect. So I wonder how much damage we can do to Weirdir here. Can we just KO this thing? We don't. This thing's bulky. So Trick Room's coming out. Knocked off its Curva Cloak, and Shadow Ball is going to get blocked. A little bit of blocking into the Shadow Ball. So from here, Trick Room is a thing. The Trick Room comes out here. Um, I'm thinking of just Sucker Punching you, and then just Gleaming. 
now at this point. The reason I do that is because I believe a terror type's gonna come out here. Probably from Articuno. And he's gonna he's gonna look to KO my Miyasurata, yeah, so I'm hoping he terrors into something that fairy can just rip into, right? Let's see. What you got cooking on Articuno? What you got cooking? Air. A little bit of flying action. A little bit of flying action. The Circle Punch coming in hot here. Doing about 8.5 damage. And skill swaps coming. You're taking my overgrow? How dare you? When, what are you giving me? Oh. Oh. Ho, ho. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. You're making me trigger competitive. I see you. I understand. I understand. I understand. So you're going for the air cutter. Air cutter double hitting? I believe it is, right? Wow. Damage output, insane. It's immense. A little bit too much for me to handle. The real question is, do I save Meowth out for back end and swap it? But Gleam's gonna be cooking here. How much damage are we doing with Gleam? I'm not killing the weird here. Uh, I am going to double protect. Let's waste a turn trick room. Let's waste turn trick room and just feel out what they're gonna use. I doubt Weird Air goes for an attacking move. Then we can start a punch. But with our back end Pokemon, how are we gonna handle this? I mean, our back end Pokemon are really good. I probably should have double swap. Maybe I'll double swap both of these guys right here, right now. Terror Blast. Weird Air's going for Terror Blast. Try to KO me. And honestly, I feel like Stantozo can really get ripping, but I might hard swap both of them, to be honest. Unaware is going to be really good, especially up against the uh, attack boost that he gets. I think double swap's going to be a play. And having these fast Pokemon in the back end, oh yeah, we are double swapping. We are double swapping right into the Don Dizzy. Right into the Don Dizzy. We're not playing around, right into the Don Dizzy. And I mean, skill swap would be the right play. He can skill swap and take away my unaware, but... That'll be a that'll be a problem that we can deal with next turn, right? We'll deal with that next turn. Be hard swapping into these guys. We'll keep our one HP Pokemon. Cause those Pokemon could be good, especially late game. Sucker punches, they're very fast. They can hit hard. Once we get some turns out of them, they can be great for us. But this combo is awesome. Weird Deer and Articuno. So do. So do. Helping hand now comes out here. And you go for an air cutter, which we should be able to serve. And we got that unaware. So your plus two do not matter to me. Do not matter to me. Now I get some leftovers HP. I could protect, waste out another turn. I gotta see how many turns are left in Trick Room, because we wasted them out fairly well. Fairly well. One. Oh. Jeans is the best. The best at taking out these Trick Rooms. Look at that! See you later, Trick Room. I'm over it. I'm done with that Trick Room. Done with that nonsense. And no way you double Trick Room. Don't tell me you did this. They did this. They did that! Oh my lord. No hesitation. Pulls the double Trick Room play right in my face. I was just saying, we are the best at taking out Trick Room. And they just double Trick Room in my mitt. These guys deserve a win. They deserve the win. Hurts for me to say that, but I'm gonna start boosting my attack. Hopefully this can KO this thing. But I already know what's gonna happen. He's gonna skill swap me. He's gonna take my unaware. And he's gonna hand me overgrow from my Miascarada. And then air cutter is going to rip into me. This this our opponent is playing so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love to see. Air Cutter's now cooking. They got Trick Room fully reset it, which sucks, man. And we're still eating up pretty well with that. So Order Ups can come out here. Can we KO you? We do indeed. We do get an attack boost as well. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. The double the, the thing was the no hesitation. Like I hit protect, I was like, it's over. They had no hesitation to pop double trick room. A double trick room play on itself is phenomenal. I pull it off every once in a while. 
but I always have to sit and think about it. Like, the no hesitation is what got me. I protect it, and like, they already had their, their inputs clicked in. So Iron Hands can set up a Sword Stance. It is a possibility. Maybe I might just EQ. Let him fake me out. That's what I'm gonna let him, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause, might, Cause this opponent's reading our protects. They're reading a lot here. So I'm just gonna go straight into an EQ. Let me fakes me out. And Weird Ear's gonna skill swap. And it's gonna fail. So I don't think, I think Weird Ear's just chilling here. And he's just hanging out. He's just doing his thing. Weird Ear's just doing his thing. But from here, I'm still plus a good amount. I can now go into EQ. Still plus two on my attack. And we're wasting out these Trick Room again. I'll do it again. Like I said, I'm the best at wasting out the Trick Room turns. I can do it. I can do it. We still have four Pokemon. Our back end Pokemon are low. Lower than low on HP. But we're wasting out these Trick Room turns all day. I'm going for EQ here. I like it a lot. Actually, I probably should have protected. And he's just going to withdraw Iron Hands. I'm cool with that. The Withdrawal of Iron Hands comes out. You're just wasting turns for me. You're gonna bring out your final Pokemon, which is Dragonite. The Knight's full of dragons. It's gonna skill swap, so whoa, you are just handing away abilities. You're gonna give that thing unaware? Dude, this this weird ear is kind of annoying me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. So he's got to go. Can we just get rid of it now. We finally get rid of it. Watch, now he's gonna pop sword hands with iron hands, because I'm gonna protect this turn. We get some leftovers HP. Leftover HP. So let's see. Hopefully that Dragonite is choice and choices in E speed. Because that can be big for fun I mean, late in the game. But from here, I am just going to go in the EQ. Actually, no. Like I said, I'm going to protect. I just want to see how many turns are left in Trick One more. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gents. We'll, we'll waste out two sets of Trick Not one, but two. But two without losing a Pokemon. Without losing a Pokemon, wasting two, two sets of Trick Room. That might be a first for me. I don't think I've ever done that. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. So our opponent's playing really, really solid. It's definitely a close match. Got rid of the deer. Cool with that. We're hoping he's just faking out again. But uh, Dragonite could Dragon Dance if this is not a choice band one. Fake out's coming in higher. I'm hoping it's just choice band. And you're going in like E speed. Oh, you're choosing the outreach. And that's fine by me, because Fluttermane. I saw Fluttermane. You maybe should have thought about that. But the choice in outreach kind of scary. Seems like it's going to do a huge chunk of damage. The real question is, they did Terra already. Do I order up? I think I just EQ and look to get rid of Iron Hands, because Iron Hands is going to be the problem. Because if, if I'm correct on that Dragonite being choice banned, I'm not worried about that. Fluttermane will take no damage to me, to it, and we'll just get cooking from there. So, doing damage to Iron Hands is going to be our, our biggest play. The damage, we just did. Just did a huge chunk of damage. Our Rage going to fly. We are able to eat that up, which is big. Because if we die that Outrage, then that Drain Punch goes to the Tatsugiri. So now, we're here. I can go into Icy Winds. I can slow down. I get to bring out Fluttermane. Flutter Flutter comes out here. We're here with Flutter Flutter. So if I'm correct, if Jeans is correct here, and this thing's Choice Bandit, we pretty much win this match, right? Because I just go into Icy Wind, I go into Dazzle Leaves, and we clean this one up, no problem. So you can't tear either. Icy Wind's gonna fly here. It's gonna take off Multi-Scale out of his Multi-Scale, and no, that's definitely not Multi-Scale, the amount of damage we just did. We get the Speed Drop. And as is gonna cook, and it probably picks up double kill. Yep, beautiful. Yo, third and final match. Going to your boy, wasting out two sets of trick rooms. Ten turns of trick rooms, and winning that match. Absolutely killed it in today's video with me, Al Scarada, in Regulation D. Won the first match, second match came down to the wire, we ended up losing that one. And then the third and final match, I'ma say it again, your boy wasted out 10 turns of trick room to win the match. Absolutely amazing from our part, playing really, really well, swapping our Pokemon in out protecting at the right time and just making the right calls but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody